When you think of Overseas Church of the Brethren missions, most people think of Nigeria or even India, or more recently, Dominican Republic or Brazil. But there's a half-century period of mission work in China that often gets less attention, partly because of how suddenly it ended when a hostile government came to power in the 1950s and our interaction with the mission work there became difficult. And so we don't often hear about some of the saints of the church who work there, people like Anna Blau, whose life was recently documented by Elizabethtown College historian Jeff Bach. She served in the Brethren Mission to China in Shanxi Province from 1913 until she died of typhoid fever in 1922. She worked in evangelism with women in rural villages. She also worked with education, teaching girls, and uh, then also she was instrumental in famine relief and uh, distribution of aid in 1920 and 21. Anna was only 15, two years after being baptized, when she felt God calling her to the mission field. In December 1900, she'd gone to a small room in the second floor of their house where she often went to pray, and it was night, and she was praying for the missionaries that she knew of, and Anna describes in her autobiography that she seemed almost to hear a voice saying audibly, why not you go? And as she finished her time of prayer that night, uh, in the, the moonlight that came through the window, Anna felt that God had moved her to commit herself to Christian service of some kind. Because she worked so much with women and she was a single woman herself, she helped uh, many of the Chinese women to see a different role for themselves than what would have been prescribed by traditional Chinese culture. Anna made several important decisions uh, to do things that might not have seemed typical for women in her time. She made the decision to be of service in some way at a time when the church uh, was not ready to ordain women to ministry, but very much welcomed the work of women as missionaries. Anna also consciously made the decision not to marry and have a family. And for her, uh, she reports in a couple of passages of letters and in the autobiography that that was a really important decision. It was one she never regretted. She felt that it allowed her to give her life in service to others. Uh, all of those combined with her deep sense of prayer, I think, help us to reflect today that our own Christian faith is a powerful way to experience God's presence to us through Jesus Christ and also to claim our lives for service for other people, to tell the good news of Jesus and to do good for others in need.